Hey folks, this is Green XI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is episode 5. In the last episode, we started going through the sewers on the way to the second star. <laughs> I'll have much further that ends up being, but we're going to see Marlo's grandpa, a tadpole. Tadpole something? Tadpole Pond, I think it was called. Ooh, and what's worse than a sewer dungeon in a game? A maze sewer dungeon. <laughs> this must be Balloon, or Below Me. Balloon? Blow me? <laughs> is that a fire hose or his tongue? It's a tongue. <laughs> Shit, here comes the boss. Mo ho ho! Ack! It's a snack attack! And you're it? Okay, like below me. It must be sp said like that then, right? Like a snack. Right then, let's see what we got. I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna do the sensible thing this time. And I'm gonna special with Thought Peak. It might use a bit of FP. 400 foot, 2 HP, that seems like a lot. So we need to use Lightning. Okay, so we're going to be using Marlow for FP related stuff. Poison Fear Mute, so just Lightning really. Happiest when I sleep, you know. Oh, and we all. <laughs> Room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Your tongue is your bib, and you know it. So we'll just attack with Mario using a mushroom if necessary, and I think with uh, with Ma Mario? Did I say Mario? Uh, Thunderbolt with Marlow. Can't get that crit. Really can't. Sleep source. Ooh, we got a pin that can block that, but I haven't got it on. I took it off for uh, the other one. I took the sta stats up a little bit. Stick for a body. Head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> it's great funny. Scarecrow funk. Okay, he's immune to that, so that's good. Maybe if it didn't miss. Does it say miss if he's immune? Hmm, not sure. Can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger. Eat the marshmallow! Oh, frog. <laughs> did that wake him up? It did. How do we get Marlow back? Does he only eat Marlow because he looks like Marshmallow? Hmm, I wonder. I feel like Mario's doing a ton of damage anyway. So it doesn't really matter that we lost Marlow. <laughs> that was scary. I bet it was. Can't quite get that. Sleep source on Marlow this time. That's fine. That's fine. We get to save some FP. You think you've won? Well, I think we're doing okay. I'm all that's stopping a flood of water. So long, Sokies. Genuinely. Ah! <gasps> oh, we actually did win. <laughs> I thought he was just bragging. Marlow's getting a level up. And he was sleeping. I'll reach level 7. Look how happy Mario is for him. Alright, six more HP, that's amazing. Yeah, the HP is the one that is going to benefit the most, I think. Ooh, what's that exclamation mark? Oh, because he's not on the Switch anymore. Blummy must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. He's a load bearing boss. It, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water. Get on the Switch then. Go on then, do it. They're too scared. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, derpy derp. Wow, that looks stunning. Actually stunning. And it's nice to be out in the sunshine after the sewers. Is the mini game? This is the Midas River course. On a clash course? Yeah. We'll start off first at the falls. Use left stick to move left or right and score coins. They used to do this a lot in RPGs back then, didn't they? Final Fantasy VII is a is a, a, another game that did a lot of mini games like this. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Although it reminds me of Final Fantasy VI as well with the raft, sort of. Along the way, there are a few holes as to what will happen. We'll just keep that a surprise. Off you go. I didn't really pay attention to the controls. Okay, so you can mash B. I can see why. It's a frog coin over there. We're going to go for that. Yeah. Because I don't know what we get out of the frog coins. There must be like a special shop somewhere. I have a frog coin over here. But they got to be... Like, one frog coin's got to be worth more than one regular coin, right? Because they're rarer. 
<laughs> it really does look stunning. Come on, let's get this coin. You ready? You ready? You ready? Come on. Yes. And I, want, I wonder if there's more frog coins around the right side if we took that direction. I bet there are. Oh, I don't know which way to go, left or right. Left has coins. As in before the junction. Oh, we missed the frog coin. <laughs> Bollocks. Missing a lot by going this way. Is that really hot water or is it the, like the steam, like the mist coming back up? Ooh, barrel. Mini game number two. <laughs> now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers. Yeah. Time to jump and grab coins along the way. Same sort of thing. As in getting coins. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Right. Missed it and change course. What's the button to jump? Leap over the fish or pop up or you'll lose coins. Okay. To just be like normal. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh no! Ah, oh, well, that, that was a good thing to change course then. Damn it, that wasn't. <laughs> Shit. Crap, I'm not doing too well. I don't feel like I'm doing too well. Just guessing which way is the best way. And I suppose first time through the game. <laughs> That's all you're gonna do, right? Yeah, touch that one. Damn. No frog coins though. That's good. Just in the fact that I'm not missing any. Wow. Ah, twat. There are actually quite a lot of fish, aren't there? Ah, oh, the time was tricky on that one. I bet I, I got like 10 or something. I got hit by quite a few fish. What's the results? 43 coins. Oh, actually that's pretty good. Trade the fro coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. But I didn't get 60. You got 43. Cooper shell. What's that Cooper shell do? Must be equipment of some kind. Ooh! Kick to attack. It's a more damaging. So now we're not going to be using the hammer. We're going to be using the Cooper shell. We'll try it. You can try your luck again if okay, it'll only cost 30 coins. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'll see you at the end of it. Yay! So I got 58 that time, that was a big improvement. And I got another frog coin going down the river. Or the waterfall. Okay, you carry on. I don't I don't wanna do any more, so. Where are we to now? Midas River. Oh yeah. Is that the end? This area? Um Yeah, back on the world map. Nice. So you can go back to the sewer swamp there, you can do whatever you want. That's good. Do have to go back through, walking through areas. Tap up pond. That's what we was aiming for. I feel like the game is really speedy. I go from area to area to area. Yeah, I really... I'm digging it. As the youths of 20 years ago used to say. <laughs> melody Bay. I love it. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. They won't play with strangers, so go and meet the Frog Sage first. Okay. Have we still got... I feel like we haven't seen a hidden chest for a while. Yeah, it's still on there. Look at the bars. It's like, um... What are they called? Like, music school bars. I'm the composer, Todovsky. <laughs> I'm trying to create my own next masterpiece. I've got composer's block. Do you want a music lesson from what? Yeah, go on then. I start by reading notes. See the five lines? Yes. Between the second and third lines from the top lies DO. Keep going up from DO, DO. <laughs> and the notes are RE and ME. Go down from DO and you'll get TI, LA, SO and FA. Oh, I've, I've never done music. In a little bit, but no. You're on your way to composing. 
can't be that hard, right? No, I don't. I don't. I really don't. I press. Okay. I'm trying to take it in. It can't be that hard. It's a Mario game. Thank you. What do we do with it? I genuinely don't know what I'm meant to be doing. She's asking if we're on a lesson. What if we say no? Is that the point? There's nothing else to do here. There's no way to, to leave the place. Ah, okay. Can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balloon, right? Below me. You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. You really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. Oh, there's loads of them. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. He's a lot shorter in person. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. What if it's only a rumour? <laughs> Ta-da! Well, well, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had. That was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Let's see him. <gasps> a fully evolved tadpole. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I'm the Frog Sage. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. <laughs> Lucky too. You can't be that heavy. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. You need some sort of gear stick. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. <laughs> Ah, we don't have to judge the jumping. I thought maybe it would have been platformy. Come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Is Mario a child now? <laughs> Compared to Frog, I guess. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He's quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Peach is no longer there. Oh. Where is she? <laughs> Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. We did indeed. <laughs> Whoosh! Out of the blue! The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Peach are still lost somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Clay Morton, whom you defeated at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And that more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, we're good. Collect the stars to defeat Smithy. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Clay Morton was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Oh. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure too. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Are you sure about that? Mallow, my boy! 
I've kept this from you until now, but you're not a tadpole. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Say what? I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets. When I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls, I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Mallow, now's not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. Boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Of course we will. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it's settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town, where they need your help. Rose Town? Okay. How about the cricket pie? Do you want that? <laughs> I'll give you something for the cricket pie. I know, you shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Yay, finally a weapon for Mallow. It's funny how it didn't say weapon obtained or, you know. 20 more attack. Good job we collected that. We went back and collected that pie. Donuts. A few late notes on my latest tune. Mm, okay. Rose Town. Alright, let's get out here then. I don't get that whole music thing that we learnt from that composer at the top. Is that just for nothing? I don't know. I don't get it. Anyways. It's actual. Is it actually another town? Rose Way. Okay, we need to make our way to the town down on the bottom, by the looks of it. But, we'll be doing that next time. Ooh, no. No, we'll go a bit longer. Rose Way it is. Okay, what we got? The yellow tiles automatically carry you when you hop on them. You can't jump off a tile when it's blue. Good to know. Ooh. Weird. Let's try that again. Where do we go now? Ah, uh, it's all automated. You got timer so you don't get hit by the enemies. But I, I wouldn't mind being hit by the enemies. What did that do? Mute. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't have the hammer anymore. <laughs> but we do have a giant stick, which is actually pretty amazing. Do you see the damage on that? Yeah, that's easy to judge. I say now. <laughs> uh, Marlo's sleeping. Oh, come on. The enemies are starting to do more damage, but that's to be expected, right? I feel like we've done the tutorial sort of stuff with Bandit's Pass and things like that. It's only going to get harder as we go, so... When the enemies were only doing one damage. <laughs> was that a special enemy? I didn't pay attention. It was, Frog Coin. I thought he was taking some killing. Okay, let's keep going. We wasn't getting much EXP from those enemies. Ooh, two more new enemies, and that was a lot of damage, so I'm going to try and get rid of that crook. It was a lot of damage. Arachne. Hehe. <laughs> oh no, Doom Re Reverb. What's that do? <laughs> we won't find out today. Oh, but they. That Arachne has a lot of health. Sorted. 9 EXP. Okay, yeah, we are actually getting some. Ooh, I want to get that chest. Come on. We haven't had a hidden chest for a long time. It feels like there should have been one in the sewers, but we didn't go anywhere that had one. Hmm. Who knows? 
We can't block any of these shy guy moves except for the slingshot. Mute, there we go. It's actually a bad thing for Malo if it if the fight wasn't gonna be over soon. <laughs> like that. Let's get his chest. Just a thought coin? Okay. Where haven't we been? Is it gonna take us to a new area now? Ooh, it is. There you go, I'll do. Okay. <laughs> and the bandits just run away. So this will be a simple fight now. One EXP. The shy guys ain't exactly bursting with reward for killing. I'm not getting a chance to kill them though. The bandits. Oh well. Missed again. Bloody hell, shy guys must be really evasive, right? Or am I just getting unlucky? Well, dead anyway. I feel like these sort of ways, these pathways are quite generic. Like, all pretty similar, I mean. Yeah. So it looks just the same as Bandit's Pass and stuff. Just a different gimmick. Screw you. <laughs> okay. Let's attack him. He's a special enemy. That's one of the spiders. That's gonna be bad. What we get? What we get? Fucking hell. Okay, sorry about that. I, I actually missed what we got because somebody walked in. And I couldn't stop the game. Because pause doesn't work in it. So. Okay, there. That's the threat, the spider. Might have to heal up after this fight now. This is a bugger. Recover. No. No way he's a healer. Okay, better kill him then. <laughs> Maybe I should have attacked that starfish with Mallow instead. So he does less damage. Okay, he's not a fun enemy. Better heal ourselves. What's it do if we actually get the exclamation mark on this? Just heal for a bit more? That must be it. Bloody hell, he's, he's really taking some killing. I feel like it should be a boss. I missed it, that's thing. Thanks, what's that for? Is it because he was actually needing it properly? Like low on health. Let's try Thunderbolt. Maybe it's his weakness. No, but it did a lot of damage, so not bad. He's on red health now, so I think Mario will finish him off now. No! Shit! Okay, better heal again. I don't feel like I can really be underleveled. Like maybe by one level or something. That was nuts. That was actually nuts. <laughs> Snapdragon. I love the name. Ok. 
Okay, yeah, I do feel like we need to level a bit more. So I'll be fighting all the enemies in the areas and stuff. Yeah. HP max. Okay, he did need a bit of healing, so that's not bad. <laughs> I love the song that plays when he uses lullaby. Or lullaby. <laughs> but I don't like the effect. There we go. That brings... That wakes. Typical RPG style. It wakes up a character when they get physically attacked, so that's good. Mushroom? Nice. Okay, let's keep on going for these coins. Ooh, they're not running away this time. A positive, they don't steal when they attack you. Or they didn't then. Ten? Ooh, they give good reward if they don't run away. Good. We got that mushroom. Anyway, I'm going to go around this room now and uh, kill off all the enemies. Another special spider. Bollocks. Okay, that's all of them defeated. Nobody leveled up. Let's keep on going. Although we did fight the, another another spider that's like super powerful. Ooh, what's this? Bowser! We found Bowser! <laughs> what's this about? They're looking for Peach. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright people, four ranks. Jagger, head of the Shelled Warriors. Wizard Cooper, Master of the Hooded Sorcerers. And last but not least, Groomhilda, Grand Dame of the Groundling Goombas. <laughs> Such a dame. <laughs> it's our finest moment. Bowser's minions are invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Go on then. It's got to be a good sign if Bowser's around, right? <laughs> Peach can't be far off. <laughs> Bowser and his minions must be on their way to Bowser's Keep. Mm, come on, Lost Time's just up ahead. Okay, no boss? No boss? Okay. So, this has been Greeny Axai. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head on into Rosetown. Maybe we'll meet Bowser and his minions? Who knows? That's again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.